Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a new series. Um, this is kind of just a take on like monthly favorites, but kind of just like what I bought or got this month. Um, I just think this makes more sense. I saw this on Allegra Shaw's channel and I think like the way that she approached it made a lot more sense than like monthly favorites. Technically when I buy something it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like my all-time favorite thing. I think like favorite is a really strong word so I just kind of wanted to show like what I got or what I bought and like what I'm really enjoying this month so I think I'm gonna go with that okay so for the start of this series I'm actually just gonna be joining February um, in with March because I came across some health issues recently so I haven't really bought too too much for this month to make it like a solid video and then February I also didn't buy too much this is a purchase that I actually made in October but I thought I would throw it into this video because I've been trying it for the last couple of months. I put it to its truest test when I bought it specifically to go to Mexico um, to test it out against like full on weather. That makes sense for deodorant. And holy heck, this stuff works. It even, I swear it's like waterproof. Like I would go in cenotes and like come out and like not have to reapply my deodorant. I would still smell like a delicious coconut. So this is the ish. So next I'm going to talk about all of the things that I got from Winners. Uh, I believe I got these in February. First off are these amazing sunglasses. I remember when like the blue huge sunglasses were so in like the Ray-Ban started that, the aviators with the, the color. Well I'm not over it. I actually never bought any of the colored sunglasses really. I think I have like one cheap pair that I tried out and I just like, I don't know, it was like fun. But like, I actually really like these. I think colored sunglasses are coming back heavy just because everyone's like tonal dressing. Like if you wore these together, it'd be very on trend. Uh, but I just really liked the shape. They are kind of like a Ray-Ban that I wanted to get with like that octagonal kind of um, cut on them. And they're really like slim. And really light like you don't even feel them I love when I can't feel sunglasses they always bother my ears I don't know why um, but yeah these are French connection but they're from winners and I just really liked those next I bought this like, vinyl call it vinyl Ooh. I bought this like plastic bag it's see-through but it has this little pouch inside so that no one can really like see your stuff I guess. The brand is called Like Dreams. No idea. I don't mind like a faux leather but when it looks really plasticky I'm just like not not a fan. It just looks incredibly cheap. Um, so I took the handle off that came with it and I'm just doing it as like a lady bag which is also the trend for 2019 forecasted is lady bags. So this was a pretty good buy for me. This was only 15 bucks. It was actually on sale. I don't know why. It was like 25 or 20 or something. But they had marked it down a little bit. Maybe there was a mark on it. But I honestly didn't see anything wrong. And then lastly, what I got from Winners are these Mark Fisher boots. They are beautiful. I got them on a crazy sale as well. I don't know how, how they had them there still like it blew my mind because like every woman I feel is like a six uh, but these were six and a half so to be honest like I'm normally size six straight through and through 36 whatever but these are six and a half and they're way comfier than I thought like I thought they would be too big and my foot would slip but yeah I guess like if you're going to buy these because you still can they always sell this boot it's called a Yale Yale boot or Yates boot or something the Yale pointy toe and they come in all sizes and sizes duh they come in all like colors and prints and stuff and they're just so beautiful and they're so freaking comfortable like I didn't have to break them and they were like right like that so maybe half size up just because I find pointy toes are always a little hit or miss you never know like they could be comfy when you put them on and then you start walking and you want to die but these are great and they always have this like um, hardware at the toe. They're just so pretty. They're so like western. I can't wait to wear them with like 
white dresses. So my next uh, couple of things are from Target or Target as some of us call it. Uh, we were in Phoenix recently, Arizona for some baseball and uh, I obviously had to make a trip to Target when I had some time off. Um, I mainly went there just for the Who What Wear line. Sadly, it was not available at that Target, so I grabbed a couple of other little things that I liked. First, I took the plunge into the Walita family. With, this is like an all-natural um, beauty company, I guess. They, I think they only make like hand creams and face creams and all that kind of jazz. Very into this. Um, I don't really know what to say, but like it changed my life. <laughs> so dramatic, but like my lips have never, ever been softer. Um, we sell it in Canada, like they have it. We, <laughs> they sell it in Canada. It's available, I think, at like Whole Foods and stuff. So, yeah, I got a lot of com comments too. Like I posted this on my stories and was like, "Holy crap!" when I got home, and people were like, "Oh my god, it actually works!" Because there's such like a hype behind this brand. I feel like I see it all the time. People are always like, "Oh, it's so good. My face is so soft." So I really wanted to try it. Tried it, and it's amazing. The next thing I got at Target is a set. Um, I. I feel like it's pajamas or something but it's tie-dye and I love it I fell in love like I fell over like I put it on and like screamed I was so excited um, and it's this like cropped sweater I'll show you better in like a a wear it um, try on little thing clip here we go um, yeah but it's so comfortable and tie-dye is the ish right now and I wear this every single freaking day and I love it so much I can't wait to wear this like to brunch in the summer <laughs> with like these glasses. <sighs> Such a look. Like this. You know? To brunch. With like really cute um, slides or something. Like white slides. It's a vibe. It's gonna happen. You'll see it on Instagram soon. At Layla underscore Lane. Don't forget. If you know me by now, if you follow me on the internet, you are like know me as a person. You know that I'm like a thrift queen. All I do is thrift. So I got a couple of things at the old thrift store in the last two months. I haven't been in a while because health happened. Uh, but yeah, I bought this like oversized H&M sweater in this beautiful tan color. Um, I think I saw this at H&M and like didn't buy it because it just isn't a thing I'm going to buy. It's like 35 bucks probably and I was like, oh, whatever, another sweater. Also, it was this is a medium and this is not something... I would have bought this in an extra small most likely, but because it was only like nine bucks, I bought it and I'm actually really surprised I always forget to like try things oversized or like you know when you get like overwhelmed and hot in a mall you kind of forget about all the things that you want to do so this kind of just reminded me to like try on the bigger sizes because they sometimes just look way cooler and way better especially if you have like 500 sweaters like why can't you just have one that's oversized you know what I mean but yeah I I was actually really shocked that like this is in such good condition Sweaters at Value Village are generally like pulled or like holy or stained or whatever. Like people really don't, I find people don't give away sweaters. Like how many of you give away your sweaters? I hardly do because they're like your, they're your comfort zone. So yeah, I couldn't like, there's no pulls, there's nothing. It's like, it literally looked like it came from H&M. Don't know. Love it. It's great. Then another brown thing is this little corduroy skirt again not a thing I would have purchased um, on the reg but because it was at Value Village I tried it on and I actually really really like it it fits really well which is crazy like normally these a-line skirts don't fit me because I'm so tiny they always like stick out um, on the side of the legs but this ouch, um, this doesn't it's a uh, it's super flattering and it fits really well and it's really comfortable. It's not too short. I don't really like mini skirts. I guess this is like kind of a mini. Um, but it's really not that short. And I'm excited to wear that and style that. Probably in an all brown outfit. Because why not? Next I got this blazer. And it's kind of oversized. But it is a Laura Petites. Which is so... Laura Talbots? Just kidding. Talbots Petites. It's like old school for show. You can tell by the label. 
but it's so good it's so 90s it fits so perfectly I have been looking for a plaid blazer for like a hundred years that's like the best oversized comfortable not like scratchy and itchy that's always a problem when you try to find something at value village you're always like just like old smelly people stuff <laughs> sorry so this is so good i'll insert a picture as well of me wearing this i took some pictures in it recently uh but it just like kind of gives me that like 90s vibe i've normally normally i've recently been watching um the old beverly hills 90210 and like just like now i've styled it in that picture like with a turtleneck that um straight leg like light wash jeans and like a cowboy style boot which was so the vibe then and i think that's what inspired me to make that outfit come together but yeah this is a big purchase for me this was only like i think like 15 which is kind of nuts value village is a little crazy lately i will say i'd love to have a talk with who <laughs> is making the prices happen around there but and the last clothing piece that I got from Value Village that I can remember, I honestly bought more, but I just don't even know what it was, um, is this long tie-dye, like, dress thing. It's like a, it's quite see-through, so you'd have to wear a slip under it, or I'm thinking, like, biker shorts, so that they just, like, the little lace. I have white biker shorts, and, like, maybe either a tank top or... I don't know, maybe like a sports bra or something, just underneath. Tie-dye is the ish for the season. I say that a lot, and I've been dropping trends this whole video, but like, that seems to be how I've been shopping lately. Everything that I've purchased is kind of like, I think it's just like embedded in the back of my mind of like what's trendy lately. Um, and this is very on trend, and I'm going to wear this like probably belted too. I have this really cool oversized like big blue like navy belt um and I just think that's gonna be a really cute look I can't wait to wear this and style this for summer this will be so cute for like I don't know brunch or shopping or whatever the heck I do with my life um and then I got one of the home buys I'm just going to do a little um video now you'll see it uh but I bought this little shelf we found this little guy and you just like stick him up on the wall somewhere and he's just really cute and we just like couldn't not buy it I think it was like five bucks and we found a little spot for him and now he is living in our little corner there on the wall and he has a little little plant a faux plant because we kill plants all the time and then I bought this like pineapple bowl it was eight bucks has these adorable leaves on it I have no idea what I'm gonna put in this because it's like it's bigger than my friggin head like it's like two of my heads could fit in here um it's really not like a fruit bowl I think it's like I don't know maybe you make like a salad bring it to a party <laughs> punch maybe I don't know this looks like a punch bowl it's just so beautiful I couldn't not buy it I like literally found it and like ran down the aisle and I was like I have to have this bowl um, the next stuff I got is from The Bay. I got it a while ago, so I'm really, really sad that I can't link this jacket. I mean, there's so many Teddy mixed denim coats out there, so, like, I promise you'll find one that's amazing. I'll try and link one similar, but there will be one in my blog post, um, that I've linked that you can buy. So this jacket was on the racks, and I loved it. I fell in love. I was obsessed. It was on sale for, like, mmm... 75 I think from like 140 I was like man I should really buy this coat like this is exactly what I wanted it looks almost identical to the Veronica Beard one um, and then I I put it on hold and I left and I kicked myself in the butt the whole day for doing that ran there the next morning to see if it would be on the floor and it was gone I had to go to work and like suffer all day just being like why why do I let things go on like such a good sale and it like it tore me tore me inside um and then I was like you know what bring it I'm gonna go online and see if they have it and they had it on sale for $50 even more and then it was it was valent valentine's day yes it was February so they had a valentine's day coat I got it for $35 ooh, 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 ooh. I I'm so excited. I like waited by the door for it to come in the mail. Mm. 
I got a size 36, so it's a little bit bigger. I would normally be a 34, I think, if I wanted it to be, like, fitted. But I bought it in a 36. I love this coat so much. And then through that, because there was a sale, there's, like, never a sale on makeup in my focus, yes, um, is a repurchase from, like, 100 years ago. I have loved this blush for so long and I don't know why I never repurchased it. I think it was just kind of like pricey and I wasn't sure if I remembered it properly but I finally just made the plunge, took the plunge, took the plunge and bought it. Beautiful like peachy mauve color um, and it's incredibly natural and it kind of like just blends with bronzer really well. And that's in the color Cedar Rose. And then I, I bought myself a gift. I bought the Chanel Tan de Soleil, Soleil Tan de Chanel. The French is wonky, y'all. Um, this is just like a universal bronze. It's supposed to be a universal bronzing. This is not for anybody who is like olive toned to way darker than that. Like this is just not <laughs> going to show up on your skin. That's a joke. So I don't know why they would call this universal, it's ridiculous. But if you're pale AF like I am, um, it's beautiful. It's so seamless on the skin and it honestly turns into like a powdery texture. Like it feels, it doesn't feel like gooey or like sticky or anything. It just, it goes into your skin, it melts in, it's there and it doesn't move. It is honestly so amazing. And if you are pale and a white girl, you can just put this all over your freaking body and pretend to look tanned. So this is, this is a huge purchase. This is like 50 or 60 bucks, but like, honestly, it's so worth it. And it's going to last me forever. Like I've already used this like 10 times and I've just like, I just stab my little stippling brush in there. Actually, I should talk about what brush I use because that's brand new too. Um, it's the e.l.f selfie ready stippling brush and it's quite dense. I think I got this in the States actually. Um, but they have it here. Um, it's a little bit more dense than the, the large stippling brush, but I like the way that it, like, gets in to the spots, and it kind of just works really well with that. And my last little favorite type thing by my all-time favorite, this is, this is a monthly favorite for sure. It's my new magic bag. This has saved my life completely. Um, the reason... I haven't bought much. I think this is the only thing. This is the only thing I've bought in March. And that's because I didn't really buy much in the beginning of the month. Because we went away in February. And then I came back and was like, no buying stuff. And then last week I went into emergency surgery for my appendix. My appendix burst. And uh, yeah, that was a good time. So if you ever feel like you're constipated for three days, it's probably your appendix. But my back has hurt so much and my apparently when you get your appendix out your right shoulder hurts like you get this searing pain like it felt like somebody beat the crap out of me or like broke my shoulder or dislocated it like I asked everyone I was like did they like drop me <laughs> when they like picked me up after surgery and like put me back on my little bed because like my back hurts and like a lot of people didn't know that but then my discharge nurse was like oh yeah like it's part of like gas pains or something it, like goes into your shoulder but it was like numbing pain like it hurts so bad it hurt more than my stomach half the time um so this has saved me completely like I basically have heated this up every th like hour for two days straight so yeah, I've just been sitting with my old magic bag. So shout out to the invention of these things because they're amazing. All right guys, that is everything that I bought pretty much in February and not March, but it is going up for March. Some of this stuff is still available, so I hope you don't hate me. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram at Layla underscore Lane. That is where you're gonna find most of the kind of like outfits that I make with all of this stuff that I purchase. Remember to, remember to subscribe down below hit the like button if you like the video hit me up in the the uh the old comments if you had your appendix out i'd love to know how many of us are appendix lists because that is the most useless organ on the planet it's just waiting to kill you am i right if you've had your appendix out you freaking know and if you don't have your appendix out well good luck to you because you are a sitting duck thank you guys so much for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one
Bye.